Hey there guys and welcome back to another Eurovision Hub reaction video. In today's video, we shall be reacting to the UK's entry for the Eurovision Song Contest 2021, which will be held in Rotterdam in May. But before we get into this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of our new content. <sighs> I'm ready. Let's go. Where's my flag gone? I'm loving the sound of this already, like two seconds in. Okay, I love the vibes this video has. Oh, we're starting off with brass. Summer vibes ready. So Leo and I were talking about this. I am wanting a Sigala summer bop sounding song. I wanted something uplifting. I wanted something joyous. And guess what? I think we both got what we wanted. Very colorful, comparing with the last year. Oh, and the beat is super different. And we got the beat and the brass. Mm -mm. Oh yeah. Go on, James, go on, James, go on, James, go, go! His voice does remind me of his brother, John Newman, who is also, like, a very famous British artist. This sounds like a song I'd play on the car going on a road trip in the middle of summer. It is a really radio-friendly song. Like, I could imagine us being on the radio, like, 24-7. This is a banger, I feel it. This is a bop, this is a banger, this is everything. Hey, I am so glad that the UK are finally sending something that is representative and reflective of the music scene in the UK. Very reminiscent of the summer songs that we hear in the UK. It's a gala, rudimental sounding songs. And actually the producers and the writers of this song have worked with those sort of acts. So they understand the UK music scene. We've got trumpets. Love a trumpet. We've got our own sax man. We've got dancers. I was not expecting this. And his voice. But it's really catchy and memorable, I think. What's happening, United Kingdom? This sounds so fresh and so current, and most importantly, it sounds like something you would hear in the charts. Go on, guys, dance with those brass instruments. Yes! Yes! Go on, dance long at home, you know you want to. Automatically, qualification is not enough for you, right? I can see that. And I really like the video, it's really professionally made and awesome. It looks like this year they put so much effort into it along with last year. And it feels like more money has been put into this than most of the entries in the previous decade. I have not been 100% behind a UK song since 1998. It is definitely really catchy. Really, really catchy. This just makes me want to watch an episode of Love Island. Oh my God, this literally sounds like it could be on Love Island. Do you know when they're doing a challenge or when they're doing their introductions? Hey, this is all. Oh. What is not to like about a good banger? You can't beat it. This is very good. This is major that I really like the song. This never happens. Okay, this is good. This is good. <laughs> oh, this is, it's so good. I think this is maybe the biggest surprise this year. What? Honestly, I just love this. I feel like this year more than ever, all we need is just to have a good party and just to make the most of what we can. Not the UK bringing an absolute summer buff. I could see this being played on the biggest radio stations in the UK with no hesitation. Is it a winning song? Possibly not. Is it a good song that represents the UK in UK style? What UK is actually producing right here, right now. Last year's song was nice. I, I did actually like um, Artless Brett, but I think that this song just ha gives him a bit more of a mm, like that. I want to see this in top 10. I don't care. This is just fun. It's energetic. It's lively. Great vocals. It's got great trumpets. Just, you can't not like it. We really need those instruments on stage as well because it gives a it gets such a good feel to the song. You listen it for the first time and you like it from the beginning. You don't need to listen it a few times. Will I, for the first year in a long time, proudly wave my flag? Yes! Yes, I will! And this is a song that I reckon locals could get behind. Like, they could hear this and want to stream it and download it. And he's cool, the music video is cool, the song is cool, it's current. I really hope that all UK fans of Eurovision are really proud of this because this is... Yes is we want our fellow locals to take the contest seriously so people will hear this song and not know it's our Eurovision entry and that's a fantastic thing for the UK. UK hon, they're more than okay hon, they are smashing it. I love this, I think this is really, really great. Yes! <laughs> Fireworks! 
If this doesn't end up top 10, I'll actually be very disappointed. Okay, that was great, to be honest. I really liked it. This is such a radio-friendly song, and I think could do pretty well at the contest in May. If we get on the left side, job well done, James Newman. You know, and if even if it doesn't do well, we can have a party whilst we're listening to it, because that's all we need. Please, 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 can we have just a party on that stage? Can we bring the fun? Can we bring the energy? Can we bring the party? Although, to be fair, if it is in the bottom five, I am going to be pissed off because this is not bottom five, okay? I don't care, it's not bottom five. Wow, United Kingdom, okay, okay. I am absolutely delighted with that song. Yes, BBC, BMG, Jims, yes. This is actually one of my favorites. Okay, wow. Good job, good job, good job, good job, good job. This could change things for us. It's not gonna win, it's not gonna win. But I'm hoping that this is a start of a really good, positive change for the UK. That is what we thought. Please do let us know what you think in the comment section down below. And thank you very much. And until the next video, ta-ra! See you later. Hang on, just one minute. Okay, can I just say, Siri, shut up. Can I just say, James, it's a yes bab from me.